Hello again, I'm Matthew from thewetpen.com, and I recently ran across a couple of inks that I thought might be worth sharing with you. This first one is called Volga River, sometimes Lake Volga, and the second is Pine Forest, also called Forest Morning sometimes, just to keep you on your toes. I ran across these on AliExpress, and what grabbed my attention was the high degree of sheen that they're supposed to produce, but the deciding factor for me was the price. As you can see, it's currently $2.40 for an 18 milliliter bottle. I'll put a link below if you want to check this out. Of course, with shipping, the price gets close to $8 per bottle, so it's not as great a deal as it first appears. But if you order multiple bottles of the same ink, the shipping rate doesn't really increase much, so if you order together with a few friends or order some as gifts, the price is pretty reasonable. And that reminds me, I'm going to be giving away a couple of bottles of these inks, so stick around for the details at the end of the video. Anyway, these inks are made by a company called Trammel, and on the right here it says the name of the ink is Morning Forest, which is a much better name than Pine Forest. This line at the bottom says that it's a product of Taiwan, I believe, even though the address for the company at the top of the label is in mainland China. So that's sort of interesting. There's nothing on the third side of the label. The bottles are very similar to the small Pilot Iroshizuku bottles, as you can see here, and their volume is slightly less than these little Sailor Shikiori bottles. But what we really want to know is, what do these inks look like? Let me show you. First, the Volga River. Here I'm putting down a swab on some Tomoe River 52 GSM paper. This is a moderately heavy swab on the left, but I'll let it thin out on the right to show the color a little better. I'll just speed up this drying process a bit. As you can see, we end up with a nice blue leaning towards green with some heavy magenta sheen. Though it's not so heavy that it completely obscures the underlying color though it can trick your eye into thinking that this is a purple ink. Let's take a look at another one with the same ink, more of a snake than a patch. And here's a sort of writing sample. I still haven't figured out how to write neatly with the camera right here. I'll have to work on that. Anyway, this is a double broad nib, and you can see that in the end, the sheen is so heavy that you can't see much of the blue underneath. And now, the pine forest. From the name of this ink, I really expected it to be a dark pine green like Monteverde's California Teal or Diamine Holly, with the similar purple-red sheen like this. If you're curious, this crazy thing is a Speedball B1 nib. Again, I'll put a link below. But it turns out that Pine Forest is actually a much bluer ink than that, only really getting green where the ink is very heavy. There's a little less sheen than the Volga River, but it's still pretty heavy in absolute terms. Again, this is on Tomoe River paper.
This time I'm using a Speedball B3 nib, which is a little more manageable. I love the mix of sheen and base color on this one. It's much more interesting than just straight sheen. Now that my first swab has dried completely, you can see that the darkest parts look quite a bit more turquoise, though still definitely nothing like a pine green. And just for comparison, here are the two swabs next to each other, with the Volga River on the right. For a few ink comparisons, I made a swab on some 100% cotton fiber paper that doesn't usually produce a sheen, with the hopes of comparing the underlying color of the ink a little bit better, without the sheen getting in the way. It's a more absorbent paper, so the inks end up looking darker. To the right of the Volga River is Diamine Polar Glow, which is usually not this dark, but this paper just drinks it right up. They're very similar. Here on the left is Pilot Konpeki, which is a little lighter than Vulgar River, with less sheen, but a similar hue. Now here, we have Pine Forest in the center, and here on its right, this is a Diamine Cult Pens exclusive ink called Christine in their Iridescent Ink series. Again, this paper really soaks up the Diamine ink, so it looks nearly black but the hue is really pretty similar to Pine Forest. On the left side, this is Noodler's Texas Blue Bonnet, which is similar, but not as dark and a little more blue. And actually it turns out that Noodler's Blue Steel is an even closer match. In fact, I'll put some additional swatches in the review on my website. And finally, a few writing samples. This was Volga River, written with a double broad nib, shot from a non-sheening angle. And here's the same thing with the sheen catching the light. Both of these inks are very intermediate in terms of flow, not especially wet or especially dry. Here we have a few more samples of the Volga River with the double broad and a couple of different sized fine nibs. Again, this is from a non-sheening angle, and here's an angle that catches more sheen. And here's the same sort of thing with Pine Forest, except that the top sample is with a dip pen, the middle is a Lamy All-Star that's on the dry side, and a very wet, extra-fine nib at the bottom. Like a lot of sheening inks, these two do take a while to dry, though the exact time depends on the pen and nib size, the paper, the relative humidity, and all of that. If I'm writing in my journal, I generally have to wait at least a minute for the ink to dry before turning the page. That said, these inks do at least dry completely when used for normal writing. Big drips of it on Tomoe River paper will never really dry, but I can run my hand across a page of writing like this and not get any sort of smearing at all. Anyway, these are not perfect inks or anything, especially for everyday use, but they're good toys. And at only a few dollars per bottle, they're fun to experiment with. And if you'd like a bottle to try out, I'm going to give one away of each. All you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel. You can subscribe now if you're not already. And then just leave a comment below with the color of ink that you'd prefer, the Volga River or the Pine Forest. I'll announce the winners in a future video. In the meantime, I hope that you're all enjoying your own inks and pens out there. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you next time.